Hello, I'm back now and um, try to off top of the world. Here on the loading screen I would say that putting it at 400 gun target distance is a very good idea. Putting it stealth ammo also, you don't be seen before you hit the guy. Especially when you're at low tiers where people just do not see if they're being hit. It's very good if you use stealth ammo then. Uh, at higher tiers it becomes pretty much uh, useless to use stealth ammo because people will notice you if you're shooting them even if you're using stealth ammo. Um, also if uh, you saw my lineup, I was using that lineup because I only want to fly this plane and no plane else. Uh, it looks like we're not getting up tiered. But I see some very dangerous numbers. And when I say that, I see some planes with very high battle rating. Especially the Bowfighter. The Bowfighter is a very, very dangerous opponent to this, and it got a high battle rating. Uh, first of all, since it's the beginning of the game, I don't know if this is a tactic you should use for the Hurricane, since it's a turn fighter. But gaining altitude never hurt anybody. I just want to see how the thing plays out, and as you can see, uh, the twenty no, the one nineteen point seven climb rate makes a great thing here. You can see, I climbed all over the place. Like, there's no better climber than this thing. It seems. Uh, since it has a high, uh, it got a very high speed. Uh, when it uh, what do you call it? Just normal high speed thing. Uh, this is a very fast and nimble thing to play with. I like how it turns. I'm like, especially when I'm uh, diving down. As you see, a beautiful turn there where I'm at my highest point in my speed, and still I can make a very fast loop and get around and go for the MiG 3 here. Uh, but since the MiG 3 is very fast right now, He's in a high speed uh, turn here. I got to shoot in front of him, but it still does not help if I compensate really much here. Because he is, you know, he's very fast. So here's the thing. This is what this was one of the things you want to do with the hurricane, and that is high speed chases where you gotta chase down somebody that's very high speed. Uh the MiG free becomes a great opponent here. I think my friend's gonna take him out before he actually... No, he's fine. They they are not getting in their hits in him. I'm getting my hits into him because I know where he's gonna fly and there I get the kill. Very good reward. 56... Uh, for a tier 2 I got 56 uh, research points for it. If you're flying a premium plane that is nothing for you but if you're flying a normal plane it's a very good reward rate for this plane, and especially killing people at tier 2. Uh, at tier 3, this is still a very good plane. At tier 3, you want to use it more as a turn fighter than as a uh, just any fighter at all. At tier 2, you can use it for everything you want. You can use it as bomber hunting, you can use it as uh, a energy fighter, you can use it as a turn fighter. You just gotta watch out for people going with their chaikas. That is probably the only threat to dogfighting in this plane. As you can see, I'm catching up to this U88 over here and I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna shoot him at 7. I'm gonna wait until I get very much closer because my gun target and distance at it at is 400 and here comes the 400 in and I'm shooting him and I get the kill. If I would have shot before, when I got at 700 meters away, it would be a problem because then I would have lost my speed when I went up for him and I would not been probably able to kill him so fast as I was there. So I would definitely say this is a, is a close targeting distance thing you want to have with this when you have the 12. You really, like if you want to kill people really fast with this thing, you gotta have a good conversion rate on it uh, at 400 or 300 and you really use the gun conversion to your advantage. Don't fire and use your bullet before it 
Here's an IL-2. The IL-2s are very good armored. Or so I am suppose they are because they were that in real life. And I have had a lot of trouble killing them before in this game, even with 20mm gun shells. So here I come in, I don't use my conversion yet, and now when I get in here, I start using it because I'm getting closer. Uh, so just turn, because uh, if I'm in a high energy situation, I want to turn up instead of turning sideways. And I get the kill, oh, and I started to reload when I'm on this guy. Uh, he's, uh, he's too fast for me, it's a Spitfire of course, the Spitfires will be faster than you. Um, I'm going at 520 kilometers per hour, very good speed for this, this, this is going top speed here. Uh, just checking my flaps, turning it off and on. I want to get closer before I get the shots. Okay, but since he's flying in a straight line, I'm gonna try to shoot something. Uh, the biggest thing you want to notice about the guns here, after the conversion rate, is that uh, they can be a bit of a problem since they're the first generation Browning machine guns on the plane. They're not, so they will be, uh, they will not be very high velocity, so you have to compensate a lot for it. Uh, the gun targeting on this plane is inaccurate, and I say that being it's... The way the pointer goes, it's not a way where you have to shoot. You have to shoot in front of the point. You see I'm getting hit here, but I'm shooting uh, much, much farther away than what the pointer says I should be shooting. Um, this is going to be a problem if you're flying against fast targets. As you saw with the MiG-3, I got a very inaccurate pointer. I had to compensate a lot to just get some few scratches on him. And he lost his engine, he lost everything here, so I'm just gonna swoop down, kill everything, and he's dead. Okay, so, um, you know, just leave your comments if you have any problem with the hurricane, tell me what it is. It can also get rockets, it can get bombs. I would say go for the rockets. If you have the rockets, you can kill destroyers with the rockets. You can kill tanks. You can kill pillboxes. So I would say uh, learn how to use rockets because they you can use it for everything. For bombers also. So as you can see, it's a very good plane. I'm at the top of the scoreboard here. I'm not having a problem killing people. I'm coming up here a U87R. And oh, and he's dead. Uh, well, it's a BF 109th day. They're very good hunters. Uh, I would rather use the Hurricane than the BF 109s at tier 2. At tier 3, I would use the uh, BF 109s F Trop, for example. Very good planes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not gaining altitude because I know that for a fact that. There's no enemies up in the air. There's nobody to fight there. And since, you know, I'm a turn fighter, it's good to stay below, maybe. Yeah. I want to shake it over here. I mean, I'm going to fly into uh, their side base, but I'm going to check if there's anybody here. No. Okay, going into their side base, I see there's a lot of enemies, but a few people of my own here. There's only two friends here. Uh, yeah, they're getting fucked up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go out a little bit here and uh, get some altitude. And then maybe I can pick them off one by one. It's uh, four, five, six, seven, eight people over there. So it's pretty much the whole enemy team. And uh, no point in going there because, oh wow, I would be fucked up if they went to me. Uh, but I'm getting my altitude here and uh, just got to plan out. Turn around. Jack 7, big threat for this plane. The Jack 7 is a great uh, energy fighter that you want to be watching out for. It's a big threat to uh, through this plane. It got a great 20mm guns on it, so watch out.